Hi there, today I'm unboxing a Wi-Fi camera. So this is a Wi-Fi camera with a bit of a twist. It's actually a hidden camera within a clock. So it retails on Amazon for around £35. Details are in the description below if you're interested in having a look. So let's take a look at the packaging. Very simple packaging. Just got HD Wi-Fi clock camera on there. If you look around, IP camera and Wi-Fi camera, that's all you've got on there. Okay, so let's open it up. Okay, first of all, we've got the actual clock and camera. Okay, let's put that to the side, see what else we get. Get a power cable, USB. Got some instructions and they are in Chinese. See if they're all in Chinese. Okay, no, it's in English as well, so that's good. And then we've got a CD in here. Okay, so I've laid out all the items you get in the packaging. Let's have a quick look at the actual charging cable. So it's mini USB to USB, which is quite a surprise. Normally you do get most things having a micro USB cable, so not an issue really. Lengthwise, ample length, quite a bit there. Um, build quality wise seems fine. Nothing too amazing, just reasonable. Okay, so let me give you a close up of the camera. So, button here for plus and set. Got the actual screen and the camera's supposed to be hidden in there somewhere. Let's flip around the back. You've got the actual charge point on there and just underneath is a QR code. Obviously, that's for adding the camera into an app. So yeah, build quality seems fine, all plasticky and quite light, really. And no other buttons. So there you go. Okay, so next, let's make a start with installing the application to set up this camera. So if I go to the Play Store on my Android phone, I wanna search for this. HD mini cam. Okay, and that's the app. Let me hit install. This is the access it requires. And let's give it a moment. Okay, so the app's installed. I'll click open. And that's what we're presented with. Okay, so let's power up the camera. So if I take the actual camera and the mini USB side of the cable and the USB side I'll plug in to a power adapter I've got at the side. Now the thing to look out for first of all is if you get any lights on here. Now nothing's turning on so that means the camera's actually not turned on. There's actually a switch hidden behind this panel. So if I take a small flat screwdriver and place it in the middle and then just gently pull it up and there you go that's what you have at the back now if i come in close you've got a micro sd card slot you've got an on off button and a reset button and obviously your charge point and looks like a a battery maintain some of the memory on there. So okay, so if we just turn it on from here and flip it around, there you go, the time's come on. So now that's powered on. We'll leave the cover off for now. No requirement to put that on just yet. Okay, so that's what it initially looks like. Let me angle it correctly and you can set the time if you wanted to like so. Okay, so next, let's get the camera set up with the app. So, the camera actually has an inbuilt hotspot on there, so a Wi-Fi hotspot. So if I go to here, settings, go to my connections and my Wi-Fi, so this is the Wi-Fi connection, the really long one, that's actually for the camera. So if I click on that, okay, that should be connecting, and obviously it's gonna state there's no internet. Yep, 
got that message. Dismiss that. Let's go back to the app. So now, if I click the plus, add new online camera, there you go, it's discovered straight away. And if I go back, and there it is, it's been added in. So I've had a play about with it initially, hence why you're seeing the image there. Now, it's available, and next thing you wanna do is add it onto our Wi-Fi. So if I go to Advanced Config, Wi-Fi, I can pick the Wi-Fi network I want it to join. So I'll pick that one, and let me type in the password off camera. Okay, so I've entered in the password, clicked OK, and I got a message saying the camera's rebooting. So as that's going on, let's flip back to our normal Wi-Fi network. Go back to the app. Camera's still showing is offline. Let's give it some time. Okay, so it didn't take long, and now it's appearing online. I came out of the app a couple of times, I went back in, and it's appeared. So if I now click on that, so it's recommending to change the password, but I'm just gonna leave it as default for now. And there you go. That was pretty quick, setting that up. Now if I click there, I can briefly show the menu options on there. So you can actually adjust the brightness here, just to show contrast as well. That's good. And then that option lets you turn on the LEDs. Okay. This is the encoding of the images. Then you've got the picture quality. So let's go to 1080p. And if I can show that close up, really good. Okay, and below microphone and speaker, so two way audio. So testing one, two, three, let me turn the volume up. Let me turn the volume up. There you go. So you can hear activity in the room as well. Snapshot, so you can save a picture. You can initiate a record and you can flip image. So if you had the camera in an odd angle or even upside down, that's not really required. I don't think these two are, but obviously it's just a generic app. So hence why those facilities are there. Okay, so now if I go into here, um, modify camera. So there's the camera details. If I go in there, you can delete the cabinet, camera reconnect to it let's look at advanced config so you got motion detection sensitivity so you can turn that on if you wanted to so put in three you can have alarm schedule so only during a certain time you get an alarm warning tone alarm interval and push notifications which is quite good so if there is any activity you can get a push notification on the application okay Wi-Fi, obviously you've seen that, how to change your Wi-Fi. SD card record config. So there's no SD card in there at the moment, but you can adjust settings on there to get it actually recording either all day or just during a certain period. So like if an alarm gone off or a timing record. So time during the day. So say you just wanted recording during um, eight o'clock in the morning till 10 o'clock so you can do that format option obviously record sound loop recording so that's great you want to leave those on be good to hear sound in the background and loop recording for the situation where you've got so much footage on there it's run out of space that at least it overwrites the old footage carries on ir led config so schedule the infrared to come on or turn it on manual manually so we check that we don't need to change that time settings you can change it with that miscellaneous settings power frequency and LED okay you can change the password from here you can reboot the camera and reset the camera okay that's the options you get snapshot wise there's a snapshot I took and 
there's the brief recording I took. Not much to see, but yeah, pretty straightforward. Nothing too difficult about it. Now, if I move my hand in front of it, there you go. That's the motion detection. So it just grabs a snapshot and you've got details when it went off. So quite straightforward, really. Not difficult at all. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna test out is actually turning off the Wi-Fi and seeing if the camera is accessible via my data connection. So just to show, it is online at the moment. Okay, so Wi-Fi is off, 4G's kicked in, you can see it connecting for a moment and it's online. Skip that. There you go. Just move this just to confirm there is connectivity there. Looks like a bit of a lag, a hell of a lag, lag there. Perhaps it's just my data connection and how it's connecting, but let's give it a minute. Wow, that's pretty slow. There you go, it's appeared. It's pretty strange how slow it is, but could be many number of possibilities there. Obviously the server connecting and then even my data connection, but time will tell how reliable that is. Obviously having the micro SD card within the device, you can record locally, which is probably the biggest feature of this. The fact that you can just leave it recording and then go through the footage afterwards. Okay, next, let me show how to put a micro SD card into the actual slot here. There's my card, small two gig card there, just for testing purposes. Goes in and just clicks straight into place. It's quite straightforward. Okay, so just to note, the camera does come with a cover on there, so a plastic cover just to protect the actual screen. So I've taken that cover off. The reason for taking it off is obviously to give a clearer picture. Now, one of the things I wanted to show is what you can see if you're close up. You can just about make out a slight image of the camera, but it's not that obvious. So. I don't know if you can just about make it out, just a slight image of a circle. So build-wise, it's been built quite well to mask that camera, so it's not obvious that there's one there. Okay, so I've placed the camera in the room and recording at the same time as well, so you can actually see the quality of picture within the room. And just put my hand over it just to show, but not bad actually, pretty clear. Okay, so close the curtain in the room and turned on infrared, and that's the quality you're seeing. And... Okay, so you've seen the unboxing of this Wi-Fi clock camera. It's got a small camera hidden in the corner here. Good for sort of overseeing things. Maybe you've got a babysitter in the house or something, and you just want to make sure things are sort of looked after like your child or your home itself. Now in terms of setting up, it's very simple to set up and use. Nice that you can set up notifications as well, push notifications in case of activity. So if your property was empty and you had this at the side, you'll know if there was activity in there. In terms of access, access was quite simple using the app. The only little thing that I encountered was the lag connecting via my data. Now, I don't know if the issue was my side or the actual server side that we're connecting to via this. But generally, a really nice product here. Simple to use, as I've already said. Details are in the description below. Thanks for viewing, and don't forget to like and subscribe.